Hi everybody. This is video tutorial number 15B. It's the supplemental video and it's a workaround for the buggy info object that many of you seem to be having trouble with. Um, as with all things with computers, when they're updated, occasionally things are broken and um, a lot of people were asking questions about this thing and I can't find any way to fix it, so we're going to find a workaround today. And here is where everyone seems to be having the trouble. Um, right here in the super sampler with the info object. Let's uh, zoom in on this old info object. Mine is info Fred. Yours might be Ted. Um, I was working ahead a little bit, so I already have Fred and Ted. But this is info Fred. If yours is Ted, don't worry about it. The problem is in the new updated version of Max uh, 6.1.3, which you have and now I have, there's an extra place, instructional video, I was using 6.0.8 or something, and there was no um, ninth position. There was no zero here. The new version of Max has an extra thing here, and info seems not to work. Um, so what happens with info is it helps us to find the looping points, the minimum and the maximum, for old um, for our groove object. Well, that's great if it works. So let's zoom out here, and um, I moved my buffers over so they're right next to here, and let's put something in Fred. Um, the sounds are generally um, in the Applications folder, under Max, 6.1, the new one, under Examples, I'll zoom up there so you can see it, Examples, then Sounds, and finally let's put a cello in there, or let's put the vibes in there, I like the vibes. Boink, boink. Okay, so now Fred has no object should know that and put out the numbers for Fred. We click on this thing here and we see that the numbers in do, do in fact show up. So here we have the sampling rate, the minimum looping point, maximum looping point, other stuff I just couldn't. I accidentally re erased my comments, but uh, also the release loop, release loop end, and total time, and the new one is the number of channels. We don't really care about any of these, but we had previously hooked the sustain loop start, which is the minimum, over to the middle inlet of groove, and then the sustain loop end over to the maximum, uh, the loop maximum, and that for any audio sample helps us find um, where to set the loop so that it sounds the best. So let's hear what Fred is sounding like now. Oh, it sounds great. Holds, holds on there very nicely. Oops, I forgot to lock my patch. Sometimes that happens. Um, what, you're typing while you have an unlocked patch, so it's both playing and creating new objects. Now, the problem with the info object, and here's what we're going to get to right now, is that for some audio files, and I cannot explain this, it normally puts out the MIDI pitch right here, which would generally be, you know, some number around, uh, if it's a typical sample, some number between about 30 and 60, let's say 42. Um, but it's not putting out that number for every sample. So our workaround today is what we're going to do. And um, here, let me uh, move this, oops, unlock your patcher. And what we'll do is insert something down here that always, uh, just to be clear, since we have no number here, this number, if it's not already in here, it doesn't know what to play because it doesn't know what the sample is. 
So we want a middle tone in there to happen anytime there's a zero. So if you hit, if you actually load a sound in here and it says, oh, that was sampled at MIDI note number 62, the 62 will come down here and it'll go up there and everything will play perfectly. But if nothing happens, then we want some default middle number to go in there. And that's fairly easy to do. We'll just type in N, new object, select, and zero. Okay, so now if it's anything but zero, if this number comes out and it is zero, then we're going to send it that middle note. And the way we're going to do that is just make a message and type in it 42. I don't know why 42. I should probably make up a better number, but I've decided on 42 today. Now it's just going to send out a bang, and that'll send the number 42 up here. Um, I don't believe that that number box up there with the C1 on it is something that we actually want to use. I would prefer just to go straight to the number box below it. I'm going to move the other one over there too. So there's that one, and we'll move this one down as well to that number. And now we'll, um, let's see, since I loaded one in Fred, I may as well load one in Ted and see if I can get a, um, a file that it can actually um, read the numbers from. So let's try that cello now and open it. And now we know that's loaded in Ted. We're gonna go, oh, we're gonna set this to actually be Ted. And we're gonna bang on this and see if we get our numbers. No, let me just read that into Ted again. Cello, open, and set Ted, bang on it, and you see we're getting some numbers down here, but not the ones we want. But what we have gotten is the number 42 up here. So now, um, you should find your keyboards working adequately well. It is not, by any stretch of the imagination, a perfect solution. And what we would really like is to see a number show up down here um, that fits in here. now we can see that this is importing all the right numbers. I have no idea why this number is not coming out here, but um, we'll have to write to Cycling74 and see if we can get that fixed. Um, up until earlier today, I still had that number coming out. So if you've been experiencing problems with your info object, this is the way to work around it. And that's all for this um, fix it up patch and uh, let me know if you have any more problems um, this was an unforeseen one and I, I hope we can get it resolved but um, it sounds good and and the piano sounds good too hey wait that was a piano it should have been a cello maybe things aren't as good as I think they are where yep boy so we'll do it again so there it was the cello and I forgot, it's still monophonic. We haven't gone to polyphonic on our sampler yet. Anyway, the workaround still stands. Um, if you are having trouble with the info object, this is the way to defeat it. Put the select down here. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.